What's up, Virgo? I'm here to do your reading. If you got Virgo placement, tap in. Virgo, let's see what's going on with you. Um, I know the moon is in Aquarius. So you could be battling mentally or you could know someone that's battling mentally. I'm also getting deception. Prepare for deception. I'm getting someone could be trying to deceive you. This could be out of your happiness or something very new that you're doing. This could be um, a Leo. So many of you could be... Um, so I see many of you asking, many of you asking about new love. I'm getting something about a Leo uh, here. Or this could be an air sign. Let's see what comes out for you. Um, let's see what the T is for Virgo for the highest good. I'm getting something about an Aquarius here as well. There could be an Aquarius trying to deceive you. There's an Aquarius who, who wants to see you unhappy because they are. I'm getting they're unhappy because of the way they've treated you. This could be uh, someone with Aquarius highly expected. If it's not an Aquarius, it could be um, any other sign. Let's go further. Yeah, into you. See there? This person is into you. They want you. I'm getting this person is a little, um, I wouldn't say obsessed. What I'm going to say is this person is into your vibe. So I'm getting it's a vibe that you may carry. This could be a new person. I'm frying bacon in the background, Virgo. <laughs> I'm frying some turkey bacon, my bad. I hope you can't hear that. I hope it's not too loud. Um, There's something about your vibe. Like I said, yeah, positive. Look at you, Virgo. You might be creeping on my bacon and shit. I'm getting this person that's creeping on you. I'm getting they're into you. This is why they're creeping on you because they're into you. I'm getting someone wants a hug. I'm getting someone wants a hug from you or someone wants your energy or, or your your innocence. <laughs> oh, you have bankrupt underneath the deck. So this person may be bankrupt. They may have no money. This may be the only reason they're trying to get in your good graces. Let's go further. Romantic affair. So this person could have a fucking buddy or this is you. So I'm getting someone could be wondering if you have a, a fuck buddy, another lover, or another person. Someone wants to know who else you're dating, Virgo. One second. Virgo, these motherfuckers is losing their damn mind. Age of Aquarius. We about to move into the, um, what is it? Age of Pisces? Something with Pisces. Shit. You gonna start to see more fantasy shit. More people living beyond their means. Losing their damn mind. I'm getting everything will be more spiritual. I don't know, um, if these people are prepared for this. This could be the people that you're dealing with, Virgo. Let's go further. Yeah, same, same shit, different day. We have player. Yeah, this person is into games. They're into games. Queen rising. Beyonce could be very significant. Y'all could be listening to that new Beyonce album. Hold on, Virgo, real quick. Let me turn this down. So you got queen rising, stepping into your power, praised and coming up into maybe some type of spotlight. So I'm getting you're you're moving into a spotlight. This could be uh, any spotlight for many of you. This could be various things for many of you. Whatever it is, I'm getting you have benevolent energy and whatever this may be. I'm getting you have power. I'm also getting travel, so you may have to travel for this. I see you moving, Virgo. I'm getting your moving very soon. I'm getting a new destination, a new place. I see you packing your bags 
I'm gonna you just want to up and move the jackpot. <laughs> I also see you coming into a large lump sum of money and someone may be jealous of this. Someone may be only trying to get your attention because they know you're coming into a jackpot or you're winning some money or you're, you're getting some unexpected money here. Many of you could be um, into the casino. I'm getting something about the casino for you. I feel it could be very beneficial. I'm getting um play, play the slots. I'm getting play the slots, you will win. I'm getting, you may have to travel for this. You may have to catch a bus or you may have to catch like some type of transportation. Like you may wanna leave your car at home. I'm also getting um like you may wanna have fun. Like you may wanna uh, have fun out, something like that. I'm also getting something about a hotel or a room. You may be getting a room or something like that, Virgo. Let's go further. Yeah, with that sex, um, romantic partners or a love affair card. Virgo, you may be having uh, some type of affair or this is someone else. Yeah, stalker. This person is stalking you. They're watching your every move. They're obsessed. Could be an air sign. Someone's crazy as fuck. Look, let's go further. Yeah, love on the brain. They're dreaming and fantasizing about you. I'm getting someone getting off to you. Let's go further. <laughs> Virgo, who's this getting off today? You know they get off <laughs> on you. <laughs> you obsessed lover. They're obsessed. I think I mentioned that. They're obsessed. They're fantasizing and shit. They're stalking. Yeah. Someone's trying to keep you by any means. Someone's gonna keep your ass around by any means if they have to do whatever or say whatever. I'm also getting their, um, someone could be possessed. Someone's controlled. They're controlled by someone else. A narc or a queen vampire. Let's go further. You're extra triggered and groupy. This person is a fucking groupie. Someone wants your light. They wanna, what I'm really getting, Virgo, this could be a fan. Like, no disrespect to the fans. Like, you're a fan. Like, you're fans or a fan. I'm getting something about a fan. Be careful with your fan. I'm getting something about your fan here. Or maybe a socket. I'm also getting something about your charger. Your charger may be hot. Your charger may burn you. Something like that. Or a phone. Or I'm getting a person has burned you. Someone tried to burn you out of a relationship and they're still stalking. So I'm getting someone try to deceive you. There was deception at play. One second, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, come on, sit his eggs. Good kind, not that weird hard shit. It tastes like cardboard. I don't fuck with that. Let's see. <clears throat> so, I'm getting desirable. You're very desirable to someone at this time. Could be a Libra or an Aquarius. Your page of cups. They want to make you an offer. Someone's going to reach out. So someone could reach out. They're stalking you. Someone's reaching out. They're obsessed. They're triggered. Losing their fucking mind. Losing their relationships, losing the people around them. Because we're elevating spiritually as a collective. So I feel these people are unaware or they're not understanding the operation. I'm also getting um, divine comfort. So someone wants you to be worried. I'm getting you're not. Someone wants you to have anxiety. I'm getting you're not. Page of Cups. Page of Cups speaks of nothing but divine comfort. I'm getting you're comfortable in your skin, in your being, and where you are. Your Six of Wands energy. I'm getting um, the people that rally around you. So I'm getting you have um, people patronizing you. You have people uh, at your service is what I'm getting. You have help. Page of Cups, Six of Wands. I see you making an offer to your family. I see your family standing for you, or this is a masculine energy. Yes, Seven of Swords. So there could be an Aquarius trying to stand for you, or this person is um, saluting you. 
for your work or your efforts. Page of Cups. Someone wants to reward you for your efforts, Virgo. Now, you have Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, only because they know they're really left out in the cold. They know that you're done with them. For real. Could be an air sign, fire sign, or an earth sign. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, heavy earth energy. Could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. I'm also getting something about monkeypox. That shit is forming. That shit is in full effect, in full play. I'm getting use your discernment when it comes to um, like your pimples, like what you're seeing on your on your body as far as the surface level goes. I'm getting use your discernment and apply ointment. I'm getting a covering or like protections. So I'm getting preparations or prepare for this shit. Something like that, Virgo. Like you might find it to be um, like it may be unexpected, this monkeypox shit. I'm not saying you're you're going to get it or anything like that. I'm just saying it's going to be very unexpected. It may be uh, surrounding the people that's around you. You have the Wheel of Fortune reverse. I'm getting bad karma. You have the star card. I'm getting bad karma here. This could be for a celebrity or an influencer. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. An Aquarius is going through bad karma. So they want to make some type of investment into you, but I'm getting you have stopped. I'm getting you have stopped watching someone or you have stopped trying to invest in someone. I'm getting you're done. I see you investing in yourself. I'm getting you're making investments into yourself, into healing. I'm getting you're healing here. I'm getting you're, he you're hitting a healing stage. And I feel you're going to have longevity this time around. I'm getting something about codependency as well. Someone's codependent. So you could be very victorious. You could be very affluent. Someone's dependent on that. After they they deceived you. After they fucked around on you. Some shit. I'm also getting triggered. They're triggered by your success or your position. I'm getting a role of some sort. Many of you could be looked up to. Many of you could be into the church. Many of you could be into um, the Holy Spirit. And while having this pure type of energy and, and, you know, working for God, being a servant of the Lord, I see like a lot of hate or I see someone wanting to implement or make some type of investment into a relationship with you. But there could be hate. There could be karmic people around. There could be karmics affecting an Aquarius. It's very hard to maneuver. Yeah, like I said, hate. A lot of hate, envy, jealousy, competition. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. I'm getting reckless shit. But this Aquarius is protecting their self from this. I'm getting this, this Aquarius. Yeah, King of Swords. This Aquarius is highly intelligent. I'm also getting this Aquarius knows that something is a lie. This Aquarius knows the truth about the conflict. Let's go further. <laughs> yeah, Five of Wands. This Aquarius knows that um, these people are petty. So I'm de I'm getting your, I'm dealing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You could be dealing, Virgo, with a um, Gemini Libra Aquarius, or you could be dealing with someone who's highly intelligent. So I'm getting this person is, is not easily moved. You can't really move this person. I'm getting um, the people around this person can't really move them or shape them. I'm getting, um, they're very fixed on their feelings towards you, or I'm getting they're very protective over you. I do see this person um, defeating someone. This person is going to go after someone for you. One second. Yeah. Turkey. So I'm getting um, an energy here where someone may be really bitching. Something like that. It's like someone knows that the people around them are bitching. You may not know this, Virgo. You may not know that they're really bitches, that they're really not solid. But this person does. This person that's uh, around you or that's uh, in love with you, they got their focus on you. This person that's into you. Shit. They like, I dare you. I wish the fuck you would. What you gonna do to Virgo? Please. Now they trying to stand up for you. They trying to make some investment into you. Oh. oh, wow. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Are you trying to put work into you, Virgo? 
They want to put emotional uh, restitution into you. They want like emotional restitution with you. They try and, you know, pet shit up. That's what I'm getting from this. I'm not going to make this too long for you, Virgo. Yeah. So someone could be really childish. I see a need for you to hold back. That's that's the overall message. Queen of Swords energy, the devil. So you could be dealing with a toxic, uh, the chariot. You could be dealing with a toxic cancer or a toxic family dynamic. It could be spying and communicating bullshit. It could be a Libra. Yeah, the Libra is toxic. The, the bitch is mental. Her, head, her mind is not right. Yeah, because of some type of heartbreak or betrayal or a lie. Yeah, the Libra was backstabbed and they're sick. Yeah. Something about a third party. Her nigga got another nigga. Uh, oh, another nigga. Damn. Her nigga got another um woman. So he's fucking someone else. So she's she's trying to um she wants to use you as some type of uh leisure. She wants to use you as some type of punching bag or some shit like that. But I'm getting you're not. I see you, uh <laughs> Queen of Swords, King of Swords, I see you very ready. I'm getting which whichever way they come, you're ready. I'm also getting some bad karma. So this so this, uh, I'm getting bad karma, but it could be positively aspecting a, a Aquarius. So it could be helping an Aquarius, maybe as far as some type of competition or hate goes. There could be a lot of hate surrounding this Aquarius or this person is in the star, mm, in the stars. This person is into the stars. So this person may look up to you as someone who's really influential. This person could be into the stars, into astrology. This person is finding their way. I'm also getting this person is stopping something from turning. So they're, they're slowing something down. They're trying to. They could be trying to defeat you at all costs. There could be a, a family dynamic trying to defeat you. But there's someone like there's protections there. There's a level here. I'm getting levels. There are levels to this or something like that. Let's see. Um, let's see what's brewing. We did what's the T. So what's brewing? This person is in their head. They're overanalyzing, stressed and thinking. Could be the Libra. They were in the Eight of Swords energy. So I see them. They're stressing. They try to affect you or obstruct you. And they're worried about the bad karma that's associated with this Aquarius. They don't know. The Aquarius is keeping uh, some shit under wraps. Yeah, game over. I'm getting, um, <laughs> an Aquarius is very strategic. That's what I will say. Virgo. Um, you could be wondering if they're fake. <sighs> I don't see them being fake. I see them being under spiritual attack. So you may be wondering, like, is the Aquarius changing? Are they changing on me? I, I don't see that. I see like they could be um, fighting demons. Something like that. Let's go. Yeah, it's game over. That's twice. I'm getting the, uh, the situation between you and the Aquarius is over. They want to rectify with you. But I'm getting you may not be allowed to. The Knight of Wands, I see you um, making investments somewhere else. I'm getting you're moving quickly in a new direction. Many of you could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm getting um, something about bad karma. I'm getting you're moving away from bad karma. Yeah, shit's about to explode. I said shit. A <laughs> situation's about to explode. Shit's about to pop off. So I'm getting something about an explosion here. Yeah, I'm getting someone wants you. They're heartbroken. <laughs> I feel you were you were someone's only only means of a release. Like you were their only way to be emotionally fulfilled. Something like that. I'm getting someone cannot be fulfilled emotionally unless it's by you. Yeah. Yeah, bad choices. Uh, I'm getting something about bad choices here or this person has made a bad choice when it came to you I'm getting they chose wrong it's quite unfortunate with the wheel of fortune reverse 
This is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where y'all can book that personal reading. And remember, you get 25% off any reading on the website. All right, Virgo, I see you in the next one. You take care.